another episode of The Follow-Up. I'm Eden, and it's my dad Noah, and every week for the past three years, we've been sitting on my bed and having a conversation about something we want to talk about. And this week, we're going to talk about the terrorist attacks in Israel. And this is very important to us because we're Jewish, and if Israel's getting harmed, that's affecting everybody. Yeah, so we're recording this on Sunday, and last week was I just couldn't process all of it and we really didn't have a whole lot of time to, to talk about it you know really the extent of the atrocities in order to have this conversation but we both knew that this is what we were going to talk about this week and it's not anything that I've ever experienced in in my lifetime and there, of course not no. right and so when when we see things on the news, sometimes we'll say, yeah, it's, it's happened before. And, you know, yeah. we can kind of talk about what happened last time. But this, like nothing like this. Has nothing happened. like this has ever is, has, has happened before in, in our lifetime. Yeah. And there were a few times this week that we turned, that we, I, I mute on the TV or stood in front of the TV because we do watch the news every morning. So. In, in in that respect, I would imagine that you would you would understand that it's it's even more disturbing than usual. Yeah. Yeah. So, what were your what were your your first thoughts or feelings or and or questions? One, I had no idea where this was going to go. I was feeling. I guess we're, I would say, worried about people there. Mm -hmm. And it's just really sad that this happens in the world where people have extreme hate for others and they feel that the only, like, or that they want something and that the only way is to use violence to get stuff. You're right. You're right. And in, and in this case with, with Jews, and we've talked about the Holocaust before, there is a, there's a history of it even going back before the Holocaust, but the the atrocities of, of killing in such a in such a violent hateful way which should never have exactly. to do with not just Jews with anybody exactly so no matter your your race your religion your culture having kids killed hostages taken families destroyed just innocent people just because of their religion and the land that they live on yeah. is unthinkable. It's yeah. so so anti-Semitism, and that's what we'll talk about here, has has pervaded our lives for, for a long time. And it's difficult it's It's difficult as a parent to tell you that there are people out there who want to kill you because you're Jewish. But as parents, our job is to is to keep you safe and to make sure that you're not you're not worried about that it doesn't overwhelm your feelings that you're not thinking about all the time. But I also think that it's appropriate for you to to know that this is happening to people in your your age, mm-hmm. families like us in in Israel. And if it was up to the Hamas and other terrorist groups, they would do this to not just us here in America, but they would do this to everybody who wasn't like them in the entire world. And and what I don't think enough people in in the Western world in the United States understand is that these terrorist groups work for Iran the country and that they want to control the entire Middle East and then take over like just like Russia does like China does take over the rest of the world we as Americans do not want to live in a world where Iran controls an entire part of the world and Israel 
has the right to defend itself, as they always yeah, have. because Israel is their land. Iran has their land. Yes. And that's just how it works. Mm -hmm. And there are innocent civilians in Palestine, in, in Gaza, that are suffering because of the Hamas yeah. as well. That the Hamas don't, they don't care about those people. They are using them as shields so that when you know Israel said, it's time to go. We're, we're, it's time to go. We need to go in and get the Hamas and get these hostages. In order for you not to be killed while we do this, you need to go. Yeah. But the Hamas said, you need to stay. You need to stay. Well, the only reason they're keeping them there to stay is so that when Israel then blows up Gaza, that these people die and it makes Israel look bad. Yeah. Yeah. So anti-Semitism, and I know in, in, in school, all right, so explain it in, in school. You, you're the, you have a few like kids that are half Jewish, right, in your class? Maybe There's one like or two? One kid. Right. And, and you have a very, in, you have a very international school. I, we talked about it before, um, at school this week. I said, you know, if, has any, have we asked, has anyone said anything to you? No, nothing. <laughs> if anyone says anything to you this week, if anyone says anything to you this week, you just say, you can just say, all I know is that kids like us are being killed for no reason. Yeah. Okay. It's not, it, I don't, I don't want you getting into a fight or any, in any sort of argument. All you can say is, I know that kids like us are getting killed for no reason. What was it like on Tuesday when we went to synagogue? It was for sure sad mm -hmm. that, that you know this is happening, but at the same time, like what we were doing, it felt good that you knew that being there and those things that you were doing were helping out other people that were there. Mm -hmm. Like what? Like and when you say there, like you mean in Israel? Yeah. Yeah. Writing letters to IDF soldiers, um, getting to donate um, money to help for su supplies, mm -hmm. so people can stay safe. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah, and just and I had such a good feeling of being together. Yeah. That it it felt good to to like even though you know a lot I don't I didn't know a lot of those people. But just being together and knowing that you're not alone in this, and that and that's what it, this has felt. It, it 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 has felt very, and I've talked to a lot of my friends about it. That we feel very alone because the public statements from from companies internally and externally, um, what we've seen on the news, it, it shifts very quickly to, okay, all right, this happened in Israel, but now look what's happening in Gaza. Well, we're we're not moving on from. A terror in the, the deadliest day of the Jewish people since the Holocaust. We're not moving on. We're not moving on from that. Do we? We don't want to have to f show photos of babies dead and women dead and carrying off hostages to remind people of this. But uh, if we have to, we will. Uh, I, it was um, it, when you don't feel you. It made me really realize like everybody does need support. Yeah. Like no one can do anything alone yeah. like even if you're upset about not just this anything like it's good to have whether us or a friend or someone to just talk to and yeah. feel like hey they have my back or they mm -hmm. support me yeah. and there i don't understand how anybody could be on the side of anti-semitism no like when you think about it it doesn't make any sense why i feel like for me at least that someone would want to do something like that or just support that even makes no sense to me and when it's another group's stated purpose to eliminate that country israel and the rest of the jews in the world it is it's up to us to call it out and yeah. it's up to your friends to stand up for you and it's up for your employers to stand up for you just like we have as jews for any other number of atrocities and causes mm -hmm. all around the world. 
for centers. Yeah. So it, everybody needs the support. And something that mom and I have talked about and friends have talked about, you might not know what to say. Yeah. You know, sometimes, like if someone dies, you don't, sometimes it's like you don't, you don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. But you have to say something. Because yeah. that person needs to know that you're thinking about them. So it's okay to say, hey, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say, but I'm just, I'm just so sorry. And whatever you need, I'm here. Yeah. That, it's so simple. Yeah. And that is so helpful to that person. Right. Yeah, and, it's, and you don't even have to go, you don't even have to go out of your way to do it. No. On Friday, we came home. The Palestinian rally was like right out, outside. outside our front door. Yeah, and we we stood we stood on a balcony, and like all of a sudden it was there. Mm -hmm. There were I, there were tons of people. Thousands. Thousands. Yeah. Yeah, thousands of people. Were you thinking about anything at that time? I was definitely thinking about just what was happening and just about everybody there and what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, I was, I was thinking, well, I was hopeful. I was hoping that nothing violent would, yeah, would, would break out. I was, I was thinking, would those people who are supporting I don't even, at this point, I honestly don't even know what they're supporting, to be honest with you. It's very, I feel like, mixed. Are, if, are they supporting, they're supporting Hamas? Like, if then... It seems like it. seems like it. So, would these people who are right outside my door be happier if we weren't here? It's a pretty, un, it's a pretty unsettling, it's a pretty unsettling feeling. Yeah. yeah. The worst thing for me on... Tuesday, when I got to synagogue, and we, we haven't talked about this yet. I got there, I got there early before you and mom did to help set up. And there were policemen outside, yeah. which I expected. Yeah, there which were, makes sense. Yeah, there were, and unfortunately that's, it's, yeah, it's we have to have police. That have, that and, for, and for years we've had, like in synagogue back in Philadelphia, like there's, Policemen during the high holidays. Like yeah, this it's sad that they have to extreme. stay out there. Yeah. Because, like, just for celebrating or just even just trying to remember things and just going. Yeah. Yeah. Just it's for, sad. For, for gathering, yeah. it's, it's a crime to. It should be. You should be afraid to gather as Jews. Yeah. Right. So, and there were some undercover counterterrorism officials there. Like, you wouldn't have known who they were, but. That's why they're undercover, so they can see what's going on. But right inside the lobby, kids were having Hebrew school. And I don't know if they were... Um, they were? Yeah, they were... You weren't... They, they, it was finished when you were there, but they were... Um, I don't know if they were from the other location or what, but they were at a round table where we walked in on the right and the left having Hebrew school. And there were room dividers that were in front of the window. You know those room you know those room dividers. Oh, they were there like the grassy things? No, um similar, but like yeah. um Do it's like a sliding door. Yeah, so they they were blocking they were blocking the windows. Inside. Yeah. Yeah. And so when I got inside um um the rab rabbi's wife said we can move we can move the Room dividers now, the police are here. So the room dividers were there so that people on the outside couldn't see Jewish kids studying Hebrew. Yeah. So, you've, so they were hide, they had to hide that they were Jewish and that they were studying. That's that's so upsetting. Yeah. That is. Like, why should anybody have to do that? Exactly. Ever. Yeah. No matter no matter what religion you are. 
Mm-hmm. Why? If people people should just be free to learn whatever learn whatever they believe in. Exactly. But not that that's and not have like worry. That's freedom of religion in this country. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody has the right to stand up to terrorists. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you need to just keep being you and leaning on us, leaning on any friend, do not worry about talking about it with a friend of yours, bringing it up, telling a friend, hey, I could, you know, can we, can we talk about this? Even if you don't know what's going on, um, keep asking questions, yeah. don't keep anything inside, and be proud of being who you are. Yeah, I love you very much. Yeah.